This is ESPN on ABC. To cap a record-breaking, history-making season, a sea of fans are in Tampa Bay to see NCAA Volleyball's top teams. Nebraska swept their way to the championship match. Big Red, big at the net, using their defense to deny Pitt. Texas toppled Wisconsin for their second straight win over a number one seed. The Longhorns hooked the trophy a season ago. Can they go back to back? Or will Nebraska, the number one overall seed, win their sixth title and cut the net again? Two of the marquee programs in NCAA volleyball history meet today at Emily Arena in Tampa Bay. Texas got off to a slow start, but they're in the title game. Nebraska, number one throughout the season. They are here playing for a title in Tampa. Texas, 27 wins on the season. They've won nine in a row. Nebraska, 32 wins. They've won six straight, meeting in the national championship for a third time. It is electric. It is very loud. And it is a sea of red and burnt orange here in this building. Eric Freed, Missy Whittemore, so glad to be with you as we get you ready for the national championship match between Nebraska and the Texas Longhorns. It's not easy to get to this point. This is the time to trust your training. We came back stronger this year. And we're locked in on what's ahead. The rhythm of this game, like the pulse of their hearts, is increasing in intensity and reach. It has become a driving drumbeat, stirring spirits, and drawing eyes that can't look away. Wake you up as we tear the walls down. These teams have risen above. Eight titles between them, an all-out fight in an all-time rivalry. Texas, defending champion against Nebraska, the overall number one seed. We've invested so much into each other. They will work as one, dig deep, and rise up. Welcome to my block party. At the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship. Texas and Nebraska on ABC. an elite feeling. Few programs know it. These two historic programs have felt it multiple times. Winning a national championship. Somebody's going to have to make room in the trophy case because some new hardware is coming home to either Nebraska or Texas. The Cornhuskers dominated Pitt in the semifinals on Thursday. Texas fearless against Wisconsin. They shut the Badgers down. The Longhorns try to repeat as national champions. Nebraska looks to add another title as these two teams meet for the third time in the national championship. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you on this day here in Tampa. Courtney Lyle alongside the former ACC player of the year, Katie George, indoor national champion, Beach Olympic bronze medalist, Holly McPeak. That feeling is so special, and we have two programs that have multiple national championships. It's so much fun today. I love this matchup for so many reasons, but they both arrived at this spot so differently. Nebraska went on a 27-match winning streak. Texas lost their first three of eight. So it doesn't matter how they got here, but they're both playing their best volleyball of all time. I can't wait to see it. There's also quite an age gap between these two teams. Texas is older, more veteran. 11 of these players were on the national title team a year ago. Nebraska, zero seniors, six newcomers playing pivotal roles. All right, well, let's talk about that veteran presence, though, for yeah. Texas, because you cannot watch this tournament and not see Maddie Skinner. She's averaging almost five and a half kills per set. You could make a strong case that Maddie Skinner is playing better than anyone in the country in this NCAA tournament. She is peaking at the right time. As a six rotation player, she never comes off the court lethal on the outside pin, but you can't lose sight of her in the back row. She's just as effective. And in tournament play, she leads all players in aces.
she is nasty from the service line. An all-around volleyball player, a two-time national champion for good reason, but this season, a star was born. Her serve was absolutely incredible against Wisconsin in the semifinals. A semifinal and championship record, six aces and a new career high for Madison Skinner. Meanwhile, you go from the veteran to the freshman, Holly, who has carried such a huge role for Nebraska all season. Talking about Harper Murray. Harper Murray is the future, and you know what? She loves the big stage. She's just a freshman, but she led her team in kills in the national semifinal. What makes her special is her all-around game, and she is unafraid to take the big swings when her team needs her. Harper Murray has to have a big match for Nebraska to win the national title today. She admitted to us there were some nerves before that semifinal match. She said, I was terrified. I grabbed Lexi Rodriguez. We went into the bathroom, and she said, I just needed a moment. But guess what? She came out and played great. 13 kills, 273 hitting percentage for the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. This is what you work for all season. This is what you work for your entire career. To get to this point, someone is taking home another NCAA championship. Texas has three NCAA titles. Nebraska has five. The Longhorns trying to repeat. Go back to back. They'd be the first team to do that since Stanford did it in 2018 and 2019. Talk about the history between these two programs. Third time they have met for a national championship. Nebraska has won the two previous. But Texas is that defending national title, so someone's got to take it from them. Two storied programs, blue bloods, if you will, when it comes to college volleyball. You couldn't ask for a better matchup in the final round here in Tampa. And they know what it's like to be here, the fifth championship match in the last nine years for both of these programs who will shine the brightest under the lights in Tampa today. John Cook always says it's about who can handle the moment. Well worth skipping a birthday party. Sorry to her BFF. We love you Ryland. But we've got a national champion to crown. Nebraska will serve first. In front of a packed Amelie Arena, they were lined up over three hours before this match started. Let's go. Bergen Riley to serve first for the Cornhuskers. 